All right. First of all, I want to credit San Jose State and Coach Brennan. Uh, his guys outplayed us. They outcoached us. And they're very, uh, very disappointed in the effort that we got tonight. Uh, for three quarters, you were, they were the SEC football team. They took it to us. And from the very first play, we had they had us on our heels. Very disappointing. Extremely disappointing. Uh, we had great fight to come back, tie the game, and then we let them go down the field and score on us. Um, again, we couldn't we couldn't hold any momentum. But credit those guys. Um, everyone's going to be held accountable from me down. Um, I'm going to hold every coach. I'm going to hold every player. Every staff member is going to be held accountable. Totally unacceptable. Um, we're going to get back in here tomorrow. We'll figure it out. And th this 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 performance is is completely unacceptable. You get what you deserve in life. We didn't deserve to win this football game. Anytime you have five turnovers and you and, and you allow a guy to throw for over 400 yards on you uh, and go down the field on you like nothing, um, missed tackles, unacceptable, completely unacceptable. And, um, you know, I have an opportunity to, to capture some momentum at home. And, you and, and you know, you, you got fourth down, fourth and short. And on a couple occasions, and we can't convert fourth and short. So unacceptable. And um, just very disappointed. Um, they outplayed us. I'm going to give those guys credit. And uh, But uh, this is a, this will be a defining moment for this football team this week and um, and, and moving forward. So without all of them up for questions. Raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Bob. Yeah, I think these guys only had like 340-something yards on Tulsa tonight. They got over 500. What did you see from the defense? And what, what, what do you think the issues were defensively? Well, I, I think that you, you probably saw the same game I did. I mean, I, I thought they, 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 they did whatever they wanted to do as far as throwing the football. Um, we knew that number 10 was coming back. He had been out the first two weeks. Uh, we knew that uh, you know he was, a, he was a great receiver. Uh, but my goodness, I mean, I, I don't know how many yards. The guy had 121 yards receiving tonight. Um, I mean, the guy was 32 of 49 for 402 yards. I mean, come on. I mean, they, 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 they were third down. Uh, even though the second half we were better, but the first half, our third down conversion rate, we were letting these guys, we were letting these guys convert third downs on us. And um, the bottom is they, 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 they outplayed us. They outplayed us. To give those guys credit, I thought the Love kid had a career night. Yeah, it's Chad, what did you see from Nick? I don't see five interceptions. Did, did you think about pulling him? And just what, what what do you think were his issues with all the picks? Well, I, I thought that we forced some things. I thought that uh, we had some opportunities getting down in the red zone. And, you know, we got to play within the system. That, that, that's that's first and foremost. We got to play within the system. We got to take what they give us. And uh, we can't force everything. And, and I thought he forced some balls tonight. I thought he pressed a little bit. Um, and and that, was, uh, that was uncharacteristic. I, he didn't do that a week before. But uh, but it, it wasn't just that. I mean, we we, we got to keep him clean too. We got to be able to be effective in running the football. Um, and we threw the ball fifty times tonight. That's entirely too many. And sir, did, did you? I'm not saying you should have. He's probably your best chance to win. But did, did you think about no, pulling him? No, I didn't. Aside from the interceptions, what were you unhappy with uh, offensively? And you've had some problems running the ball this season. How are you going to fix those? Well, first of all, I, I, I was very disappointed in our lack of short yardage conversion. It stalled drive. And yeah, that's a gut check is what that is. Uh, that's all that is. And so um, it starts right there. And regardless of running the football or not, I mean, we, we got to be able to, we, we got to be able to knock the pile back. And, 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 and keep drives going. When we go for go for it on fourth down, which is that's who we are, we're going to be aggressive. We got to be able to get it. And we didn't get it. Credit those guys. Coach, do you, do you think that you think the team, you know, we had a, a big game last week. Do you think the team's looking ahead to A&M? Do you think mentally the team was focused in this game? Well, I, you know what? I, I, um, I, I was a little concerned in pregame warm-up, to be honest with you. I thought we were a little too loose. I thought it was a little too giddy. And, and I, I made made comment of that, and uh, you know we, we we're not good enough. We're not good enough to be able to come out and just walk out on the field with a Razorback logo on your helmet and expect you're going to win. You got to show up and play, and we didn't show up and play. And no phase of it. We punted the ball halfway decent tonight, but my goodness, 
you know, I, I love the fight. We come back, we tie the game, and, and here we go. We really thought, here, you know, as bad as we played, we're fixing to win this football game. And we couldn't finish it. You know, as many yards as they got, you guys had shut them out in the second half until that last drive. Mm -hmm. Were you thinking, hey, the defense is going to get a stop? And just what did you say on that last drive? Because they just went down there pretty quick. Yeah, I, I, you know, I thought the guy made a couple of really good throws, and I thought they made some great catches on some back shoulder balls. Um, I, you know, I did. I thought that we, we, we did a decent job in the second half. We can't wait to the second half to decide we want to play solid defense. Um, but, uh, you know, the guy made some plays. I mean, they didn't, they didn't turn the ball over one time. And uh, you turn it over five times, you, you don't deserve to win when you do those things. And so those guys, they, they, they give them credit. They found a way to drive down the field on us. Um, and, and they made some plays. We, we, we weren't there to make them. Uh, Coach Boards, you got the ball back, a minute 13, a timeout, of course, to pick into the game there. Uh, how well did you feel about Starkle getting you guys down the end zone? Because you had you had a minute and 13 there. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, we, we were a two-minute offense every week. And um, I thought, well, we got one timeout, minute 13. We've done this before. And uh, let's let's go. And, you know, I thought that we underthrew Mike. I thought Mike was open. Um, we had an opportunity. We knew that they were going to be rushing three, dropping eight. We had to find the holes in there. And I thought we had a chance to get the ball over the top. Um, but we just didn't. We didn't make it happen. But yeah, the, the schedule is only obviously going to get tougher and get back in the SEC play. How, how do you guys recover from a game like this with all these tough SEC games? You know? well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. You know, and uh, you know, it's a gut check time now. I mean, it, it's it's accountability. It's a gut check. It's uh, uh, we're going to find out a lot about ourselves this week. What do you think about Trey Knox just being a freshman and being able to make big plays in moments like that when you really needed them? Well, I, you know, I think we've said, you know, you know, I think Trey's going to be a great football player for us. Uh, he's a freshman. Um, and he's going to make mistakes. But, uh, you know, obviously it was a big catch right there in the end zone for him. And uh, that, that was good to get the game tied. Yeah, it seemed like they were really getting the ball in space a lot. Did you think you guys maybe gave him a little too much cushion, weren't aggressive enough? or? I, I, I didn't think we could get any pressure on the quarterback, number one. I thought the guy had a chance to sit back there and eat a sandwich. And, and you get the ball out and pick us apart underneath. I mean, I really, I, that was it. We didn't get any much pressure on him. And when we did, you know, he was throwing the ball up and we got a couple calls. But, hey, again, credit those guys. But uh, they, they had the opportunities to get the ball underneath on us. So. And you got calls. I think that's the first few times. I don't know if those were good calls. Maybe they were kind of borderline. What would what, you say on those calls? Nah, I mean, it's, they called it and we apparently did it. I'm um, starting with that first play, you know, the 50 yarder. Um, I, th I think they averaged almost nine yards on first downs, hit a bunch of passes. How how um, how tough was that? I mean, how, or how pivotal was that? Their, their ability to be real productive on first down. Well, I, I think they got us on our heels on the very first play of the game, and uh, you know they, they play action. They got Joe down. And when they did, they, they 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 got the guy over the top of him. And you know from that point forward, it was these guys. They just needed a little bit of momentum, a little bit of life, and. They felt like, you know, hey, this is, this is, uh, we, we're going to get these guys on their heels. And, I, you know, got to credit those guys. They were aggressive and, um, they, they made some plays. Coach Trevor Burks and Colton Jackson were held out tonight. What, what's their status? Yeah, they, they should be back next week. Uh, both of them were in concussion protocol. Any more questions for Coach Moore? Just the frustration, seeing where Keen Boyd is running very hard tonight, just about not able to run the ball against the San Jose State. And Tulsa seemed to have a lot of success doing the same thing. Yeah, I, I definitely think it was uh, very disappointing. I thought that we put ourselves in some situations that, that we were in some passing situations, and uh, especially late in the game. And you know, Rakeem's ran hard all year long for us, and um, you know, I was hoping we could break one, you know, spit one through there, but we were unable to do it. I don't know what the deal with Walker was, but I know, like you say, he didn't play. Were you expecting, I mean, what were you, I'm sure you weren't expecting that game, but, but were you surprised at how big a game he had? With, with who? Uh, Walker, the kid you talked about didn't play. Oh, yeah, no, games. we knew that he was a, a really good football player. I mean, we saw him from last year. We saw him on the sidelines last week. Um, you know, he was running and jumping up and down or two weeks ago. Um, and so we felt like he was being on the sidelines. He was probably going to play, especially with a week off. Thanks, Coach.